Hello, my name is Samuel Bates and this is XP3001 Bulwark Assault. Bulwark Assault is my FPS, uh, but with a twist. Basically, you can only turn in 90 degree intervals. And the more you move forward, the more damage you do, and the more you retreat, the less damage you do. So this subverts your natural instincts of when an enemy comes towards you that you would fall back because if you fall back you do a heck of a lot less damage and also there's also this natural tension here between your you're only turning in 90 degrees so your field of view is severely more limited is that the more you move forward your field of view will shrink as well but the more you move back you, you do less damage but you can see more so that's something that you have to take into account and so this is my main menu uh, so you have a start starts the game you have a quit quits the game and then we're moving on to controls now in the controls first you have your full auto gun that you shoot m1 or r2 uh, but also instead of a reload uh, you don't have any ammo but you have a cooldown instead um, because it is a full auto gun i felt like it would have fit better into uh, the style of game I was going for and to turn left and right you have to use Q and E and to move standard but instead of looking around with the right stick or the mouse you would be using the right stick and mouse to aim your weapon uh, and then finally uh, on the right hand side of your screen there is a big blue bar and that bar demonstrates damage output. I wanted the status here because I felt like it was the most appropriate place for it because I did not implement a tutorial due to time constraints. If we start to play, okay so here is the game and you, know, you can move forward and you can see the more you move forward and the more you move back this bar will increase and decrease. There's also this door and you have this button which is pulsing. If I shoot this button, door will open. You also there, you might notice there's a yellow light and there is a white light. So the white light is meant to show the player path whilst the yellow light is a, just a general light but also is meant to highlight uh, more any areas where enemies are. So this particular thing is called a vent and if you come close to a vent an enemy will spawn and I will demonstrate it here now. See so enemy is spawned and I move more forward and I do more damage, move back, do less damage. You might have noticed is that his colour changed. So it starts off as a red but it actually changed into a black. And that is to sort of demonstrate the health of the enemy. Also, when I hold down my gun, my gun will overheat and it will illuminate, have an emissive texture on it, and then it will slowly turn more and more red and eventually it becomes black and overheated. And then I can't shoot anymore and, and it will slowly turn back to the blue colour. But if I am shooting, I can right click or uh, left trigger to cool down my weapon. Okay. So now if we move on, there's another enemy here. See, he is red. And the more I shoot them, the more brown they get. Uh, the enemies do do damage to me. And depending which way they attack me, they can actually can uh, affect me. So I'll showcase how uh, the player also can actually die these enemies as well. You can tell I've just died and my mission has failed. So two options, either to restart or return to the main menu. Restart, send me back to the start of the level and also this links on to another thing is that in case you get tired in the game you can pause the game by clicking escape and again you can go to that main menu or resume your game.
Uh, I wanted this area to be a bit darker because I wanted to highlight that this is the place where you're supposed to go. Uh, and then that sort of the, this idea that the enemies come from the dark as well, which is a bit more uh, intimidating, I would like to say. Now over here you can see there's a, there's a corner here and there's actually going to be an enemy which will come out if we move close enough. Uh, will come out of that uh, this region Look, and it will flank me now I wanted to do this to surprise the player um, because I wanted to have it so that the uh, player would have to think when they go around corners and they'll have to use their wits and not just go willy nilly now, this also demonstrates another thing which you might have seen but I didn't explicitly state turning 90 degrees uh, so again that like you point using the mouse uh, this also works with the controller as well uh, however the controller can't interact with the menu systems only the mouse can uh, unfortunately due to time constraints it doesn't have the time also the gun follows the cursor as well and when you shoot there is a mild gun shake as well um, to add a bit more oomph and also I used uh, a modified version of the starter um, content for the little flash as well um, yes here's another enemy comes towards you again showcasing that it turns from red to black uh, also again these white lights are meant to guide the player throughout the level and these yellow lights are a bit more dangerous and deadly so when I enter into this room uh, enemies would spawn but because I was going a bit slower uh, normally the enemies, uh, if you watch the non-commentary video, it gets a more fluid version of this level. However, normally they would all come roughly the same time. But uh, the vent enemies are or arrive at, at, the, at a delay. This is because how I coded the enemies is that they actually come towards the player on sight. Uh, and I want to particular areas where the enemies would only spawn when the player is close. See again, more enemies are coming towards me. So again, I put this guy here. When I was designing this area, I wanted to have it a little bit harder um, for the player. Because originally, originally this was all flat, but I actually created this ramp to add a bit more, uh, well, a bit more direction to go. And a bit more visual interest. Uh, like you can, if you're far further away, you can say, "Okay, this is the place I'm supposed to go." You're going up, and uh, I also was, I added this guy here to make it a bit more challenging when you were going up the ramp. But well, now when it enters into the room, there are also two enemies there and there. Uh, this is, and there's a lot of cover as well. So the enemies, uh, if I moved in at, at an appropriate rate, the enemies would. Uh, sort of hide behind cover and such uh, and it'll be a bit and they would spring out from cover so there's an enemy back here who usually comes around but I killed him prior uh, that enemy who I just killed came from this uh, spawn as well which I only wanted to activate when you turned round and again you're following the white light so you have a white light here which then leads you into a white light over here uh, and then actually a green light. So the green lights are supposed to indicate uh, sort of safe areas uh, and also where doors are. Uh, and so this, through this door, put that, you get into a little safe room. It's very small, but it is quite safe and cozy. Uh, and again, it has all this raised and elevation again, a bit more interest. But also we have this uh, block, which is a health block. And what happens is, is that as you saw, my health was uh, quite low, but I shot it and it uh, regenerated my health. Uh, this gives you a full health of bar, a uh, full like, bar of health. And, and initially it had the word health on it, but I changed it to a plus sort of a cross shape. Common symbol for health is this cross. Uh, also the health box changes colour depending on how much I shoot at it. So it's so we know it's only got roughly half because it's yellow. When it becomes red, it's running out. 
but I can't take any more because I am full health currently. Again, there's another green light indicating this is the way to go, but still we're in a safe, cuddly area. And then again, we go up sort of this rounded thing. This yellow light is more of a warning because uh, I wanted to do a yellow, that's more warning. And I added this in here because normally is that some players would basically rotate round a nice degree and then move. But I wanted to definitely incentivize that they had to come up and then turn around. Uh, this area, I come went through a lot of development um, and trial and error, but essentially uh, the idea was that you come in, you came into the room, and you're able to see your objective over here, but also you're able to move through the room as well and, and, and uh, fight against the onslaught of enemies, uh, which were coming from this direction as well. Uh, if you can tell, this is sort of the way you're supposed to go, you're supposed to go this way. Um, and again, there's all this delay when the uh, enemies from the ducks come. Because I'm moving a lot slower, that's why the enemies feel a bit more awkward. Uh, but typically, when you do move quicker, uh, as in the non-commentary video, uh, you move fairly, uh, it, it flows a lot better. Now you're then led up into this area with the green light again, and white lights and green lights leading the player. Finally you reach this area where, uh, into this room, and this is actually a lift, and so you're meant to be on level 1, and so if I was going to continue this game, uh, you would click this button to progress to level 2, and go basically go up the lift but currently when you click this button it sends you off to the home page where you can check the controls you can start again if you'd like uh, so i can showcase that start again we'll look back at the beginning but I can pause again go to the main menu uh, but yes thank you very much for watching goodbye